Hey guys, so today I'm filming a first impression on a foundation that is a long time coming. This is the L'Oreal True Match. This foundation is not new. It's been around for forever, but I am on the hunt to find my perfect foundation. So I decided to try this one from the drugstore because I felt like this shade would match me pretty well. So I'm going to read you the description of this foundation. With patent color technology, True Match makeup precisely matches your skin's tone and texture and coordinates perfectly with the true match powder blush and concealer formulated with precise match technology you can control the coverage and fine-tune it ultra pure formula contains no oils fragrances or pore clogging fillers so all you can see is beautiful radiant flawless skin with vitamins A and C wheat germ and grapefruit extract to keep your skin nourished protected and healthy it claims that this foundation has a natural finish SPF 17 in select shades, which is a weird number, but I don't mind a little SPF. The coverage says light to medium, which is not what I was expecting. I thought it would be more medium, so that's kind of a bummer. And it says skin type. It is suitable for all skin types because it's oil free. And this foundation comes in 33 skin true shades. I will have them all listed down below. So L'Oreal True Match Foundation is separated by undertone. They have neutral, warm, and cool undertone. I have W1 Porcelain, which is the lightest shade with a warm undertone. And this looks like a pretty good match for me. We'll see a lot of times very fair, warm foundations come off orange instead of yellow. I don't know why it does not make sense to me, but it often happens. So I'm really excited to try this out today. Kind of bummed that it says it's a light to medium coverage. Not really pleased about that, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll be buildable. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. So I'm, it doesn't come with a pump, which is fine with me. I don't mind doing this and I'm um, dotting it onto my face. I'm going to apply it to one side of my face first so we can see the difference between foundation and no foundation. So now I have it all dotted on one side of my face and I'm going to be blending it in with my RC Cosmetics Angled Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And I like this brush because it does help maintain the coverage of a product so that's what I'm hoping for. And really, I just look for foundations to cover up my redness. I do have some acne and some acne scarring, but I use a concealer for that. But I do expect a foundation to cover up the redness on my cheeks. Um, it doesn't have to be with one layer, but I do expect it with two layers at least. So here is what the foundation looks like applied to one side of my face. And it's looking like it's giving me coverage, but it's actually just because the shade is too light for me that it is showing up with such a difference. But this isn't exactly as yellow as I'd want it to be. My neck is looking a lot more yellow than my face, but I think I can work with this if I apply a powder on top. So this is one layer. It didn't cover much of anything so I'm going to apply a second layer on this side of my face and hope for magic so here is what two layers of foundation looks like it did definitely give me a little bit more coverage this time it was buildable I would still say it's only light medium I wouldn't even call it medium because I can still see all of my natural skin tone coming through so I'm going to apply it to the other side of my face and I will be right back so here's what the foundation looks like with two layers all over my face and it looks like I have a lot of coverage but it's because the color is too light for me I don't know if you can tell but it's definitely too light and it isn't really yellow enough but I think I can work with the undertone so I'm not that impressed with the coverage at all. I can still see my redness, my freckles, everything. Like I said, the only reason it looks like it's giving me coverage is because the shade does not match me. So I am going to be concealing my under eyes. I'm going to set my face with the NYX HD powder, which does not give any coverage, any color, and it will not keep me matte or really prolong the staying power. I just don't want this to transfer onto everything. So the finish does look natural. It's looking more dewy on this side, but I just applied it on this side. This side has had a little bit of time to set and it does look like a natural finish. My face is definitely 
still sticky. So don't love that, but that happens to me with most foundations. So it is 10.30 a.m. right now, and I will check back in a couple hours. Hey guys, I'm back for my first check-in. It is 12 o'clock, so I've been wearing this foundation for an hour and a half, and I wanted to let you know my current thoughts now that I have applied my powder and I got up close and personal in the mirror. And I have to say, I do not like the way this looks on my skin whatsoever. I feel like it just sits on the skin. It sunk into my pores and it emphasized texture on my skin that I didn't even know I had. This looked freaking terrible on me. So I did not use a primer under this foundation and I usually do wear a primer, but I wear a mattifying primer and I wear a pore filling primer right around my nose. That is all. I do not put anything special on this texture I have. So I don't think a primer would have made that much of a difference. So I'm super disappointed with the way this looks on my skin. I freaking hate the look. From far away, it looks okay. But when you get close up, it is terrible looking. So I'm really, really disappointed in that. I guess I'm going to keep this and use it as a mixing foundation since it is a little bit too light for me. So I just wanted to let you know that and we'll see how it holds up throughout the day, but definitely not a fan of it so far. I do not like the way it emphasizes all these areas on my face that I didn't even know were so those are my current thoughts on it. Hate the way that it looks on my face and what it does to my skin, but I will check back a couple times throughout the day, letting you know how it held up against oil. So I will see you guys in a couple hours. So I am back for my next check-in. It is 3 p.m. So I've been wearing this foundation for about four and a half hours and I wanted to do a check-in with you. So after about two hours, I started to get oily on the sides of my nose and that has definitely gotten a lot worse. I am oily in the center of my forehead and on my chin. So that is pretty typical. I am not a fan of the fact that after two hours I started to get oily around my nose, but that could be also due to the fact that I wasn't wearing a mattifying powder, which I usually do. So what I'm going to do is wear this again tomorrow and I'm going to wear a regular mattifying primer and I'm going to do a pore filling primer on my nose and I'm going to be setting it with the L'Oreal True Match powder. So I will do all those steps and then let you know in the description box if they made a difference or not, if it made an improvement in the texture and the pores and if it helped color match a little bit better because I do also have the powder in W1, but it seems a little bit dark. So I feel like the two together would create a nice color combination. We will see. So I'm going to have all those updates in the description box and still not impressed. I don't like this foundation. I'm so disappointed. This has been raved about by so many people and it does not work for me at all. I hate it but I've had this sitting in my collection untried for months and months and months like at least four months this is sitting in my collection untried so it's way too long to return it now so I'm probably going to use it as a mixing foundation so bummed don't like it wouldn't recommend it but I will be back to check in in a couple hours so I will see you guys in a couple hours hey guys so now it is 6 p.m. I've been wearing this foundation for seven and a half hours and I am looking disgustingly oily, very shiny on my nose, my chin, the sides of my nose, my forehead, all over. I am disgustingly shiny. After seven and a half hours, that is something I would expect and I have not touched up at all throughout the day but I am going to blot with one ply of toilet paper right now because I'm so disgusting I can't stand it. And we'll see how this does with blotting. Sometimes when I blot, it removes makeup and it looks like it did. And as you see, I'm just pushing it into my skin. I'm not wiping, but it seems to be wiping away some makeup. That could do with the fact that I set it with just a light dusting of a loose HD powder. I'm not quite sure, but it definitely wearing away. It settled into the wrinkles on my forehead. My so this is my last face-to-face check-in. I am about to have a text post sharing with you the pros and cons and my overall thoughts on this foundation. So I would love to know your thoughts on the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.